sure it wasn't going to work. seconds, the tying and barometric triggers started the firing mechanism. A uranium bullet fired down a barrel into a uranium target. Together they started a nuclear chain reaction. Solid matter began to come apart, releasing untold quantities of energy. There was a white light in the window, a flash, white like magnesium. The bomb delivered its destruction in stages. The flash came from a giant fireball 300 meters wide. I was astonished. It was a startling light. Even if you had your back turned to it, you felt the shock go through right to the center of your brain. At the same time, any area of skin that was exposed became very hot. Heat. Heat. Such burning heat. Temperatures directly below the fireball were 4,000 degrees Celsius. The heat rays left shadows. Ladders, railings, even people left their outlines on stone and metal. Anyone in the open air was either vaporized or turned to carbon in an instant. At the same time, the flash sent out powerful infrared radiation and gamma rays. 
Bees could penetrate walls and attack the cells in human bodies. Then I slowly opened my eyes and for the first time looked in the direction of the light. Just at that moment, a mushroom cloud appeared. People who saw this in Hiroshima are nearly all dead by now. There is barely anyone left now who can say they actually saw it happen. A fraction of a second later came a powerful shockwave which moved at the speed of sound. It turned everyday windows and walls into shrapnel. As soon as the blast hit, I was thrown across the room. My body was flung from wall to wall and from the ceiling to the floor. My body was thrown around like it was a ball. A jet black belt of cloud came towards me. It came from there over the lip of the mountain. The black cloud spread between the mountains and came rolling in my direction, swirling like this. Just like that, my body was scooped up. It was the blast. It sent me flying through the house.